Welcome back, everybody. We're here. We're here with the lovely uh, Dame Julie Andrews. And uh, before the break, we were talking about um, uh, My Fair Lady. Yep. You also, uh, obviously, are very famous for playing Mary Poppins. Um, I understand... I understand you did your own stunts. In, in Mary Poppins. Yes, I did. And what, what stunts are there to do? What are like... Are you kidding? Uh, well... <laughs> Most, yes. Mostly, but not right now. No, no, no. Oh, flying up in the clouds and, uh, and balancing on, on platforms with uh, Uncle Albert in the laughing scene and, uh, and flying... Those are all practical effects you're actually like on wires and stuff? Oh, well, yes, I was. And, and uh, there was a very dangerous day right at the end of filming when I was in this excruciatingly painful harness and I was hanging around up there for the longest time did with they the save, umbrella. Excuse me for interrupting. Did they save the stunts for Till the... the last moment, yeah. Because, at the very end? Yeah, well, if there'd been an accident or something, then I was dispensable <laughs> after that. I mean, just disposable. Oh, that's very... Right. Yeah. That's very nice. So they saved We're all saving all the stunts uh, for this show for the very last yes, episode. Yes, yeah. so <laughs> the really difficult ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I felt myself, after hanging around up there, to just... I felt... I thought I felt the rope the uh, wire leave uh, about, drop about six inches. So I thought, oh gosh, it's, it's, it, you know, to have an accident at the end of the show like this, I, I was very nervous and very tired. So I called down and I said, excuse me, could you, when you do let me down, could you let me down really gently because I felt myself slip and I, I just don't feel too safe up here. And so I, there was a wire on me and it went all the way across the back of the studio and down to the weighted sandbags so that I was balanced. And when I, they said, when she comes down, Joe, just let her down really easy, Joe. Let her down as gently as you can. And I plummeted to the stage. <laughs> I did. And uh, there was an awful silence for a minute. And I did let fly with a few Anglo-Saxon four-letter words, I have to admit. <laughs> and... Um, And then, uh, and then poor Joe's disembodied voice from the other end of the stage said, is she down yet? <laughs> <laughs> poor guy. Well, now, um, uh, you have a, a, a new show, uh, a children's show on Netflix called uh, Julie's Green Room. Yes. And uh, where you're, uh, you're so interested in the arts and, and getting children involved and excited about being involved in the arts. That uh, it's you explaining kids uh, to kids backstage about how a theater works. And well, it's actually exposing them to the wonders and the joy of the arts. But the truth is that I, I supposedly I miss Julie, who runs a little tiny regional theater, and uh, I teach classes. And uh, it's a character I play. It's not me, Julie, but Miss Julie. And um, uh, the thing is that my students are the Henson. Puppets, brand new ones invented for the show. Oh. And they are adorable. They are wonderful. And the puppeteer is so brilliant. Well, uh, we have a little clip uh, oh, right here. Do we? Yeah. That's great. Princess Apple, ready? So many people. I think we have a malfunction. <gasps> She's got so stage fright. No, no, please, please, <gasps> darling, look at me. There's nothing to worry about. All those people out there are lovely. They want to adore you. They've come to enjoy the whole show. Can you be ready? <sighs> ready to go. Oh, cue the overture. <laughs> the stage is still your life because now oh, love, yes. in Australia you've uh, directed a production of My Fair Lady. I did. Okay. Uh, I felt I knew a little bit about it. A little it. bit about yes. it. There's a famous scene where Henry Higgins is putting marbles into Eliza Doolittle's mouth yes, and trying yes. to get her to yes. do elocution. Well, you can't really use marbles. What do you use? Well, you use, like, jelly beans or something. I used to have jelly beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, we, have a, we have a bowl of grapes here. Well, well actually, you... A bowl of grapes yeah. here. Oh, you could grapes, use grapes. You could use grapes. Yes. Okay. I was hoping that you could try to uh, get me to say a few things... All right, but I have ...while to... you feed grapes into my no, mouth. No, no, no. I have to put... Let me just put them in one by one. Open your mouth. Okay. <laughs> One, two, don't chew them, three, four, and five. Okay. Now, without chewing them, don't cheat, say, with blackest moss. 
Was Bacchus? <laughs> Ma. <laughs> Wait, that's right. The flower pots were thickly crusted, one and all. The flower pot. <laughs> was thickly crusted, one and all. Not bad, really. No, not bad. <laughs> now you can eat one. Can I have one? <laughs> oh. Aren't they good? I wish we had had grapes. Much nicer than jelly beans. This is a choking hazard. <laughs> Julie, thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's a great pleasure, and thank you for having me. Thank you for us. Bless you. Thank you. Julie's Green Room is available on Netflix March 17th. Dame Julie Andrews, everybody. We'll be right back with Christina Hendricks. Stick around.